Jaguar Land Rover vehicles incorporate a tire pressure monitoring system as an added safety feature. The system monitors and records the air pressure in each tire and informs the driver if any of the tire pressures are low. The tire pressure monitoring system, also known as TPMS, warns you if one or more of your vehicle's tires are low in air pressure. It will not reinflate your tires or recognize if any of the tires are damaged or the tread is low. When the TPMS recognizes that a tire is underinflated, the message center displays a low pressure warning lamp. Stop the vehicle somewhere safe as soon as possible. Check the tire pressures and inflate if required. The message center will show the tire pressure. If the pressure is decreasing, then a puncture is evident. If the tire pressure is not moving, then the tire has naturally lost pressure due to outside temperature changes or a very slow air leak. Continuing to drive on a significantly underinflated tire is dangerous. When inflating a tire, be careful not to bend or damage the metal TPMS valve stem. Make sure that the inflation hose and the valve stem are correctly aligned. If the tire pressure check option has been selected, the tire pressures will be updated in the message center as air is added or removed from the tire. Each tire should be checked monthly when the vehicle has been stationary for at least one hour. You can check your tire pressures using an accurate pressure gauge or you can view the last known pressures that were recorded in the message center. These will always be accessible with the ignition on and the engine off and some vehicles with the engine on and driving. Using the steering wheel controls, press OK. The TPMS menu can be found under the Vehicle Information or Service menu. Use the scroll down arrow to highlight Tire Pressures or Tire Pressure Check and press OK to confirm selection. The recommended tire pressures appear alongside. These figures are only for Jaguar Land Rover approved wheels and tires. The recommended pressures are available under the Tire Pressures or Tire Information menu. These pressures will match the label located at the bottom of the driver's door pillar. If the pressures do not match, then the tire has been replaced incorrectly. To change the load setting, if available, select TPM Load Setting. The full size spare wheel pressure is not displayed, but a low pressure warning will display if the pressure has gone below the warning level. Inflate the spare wheel to the highest pressure shown on the message center or label to clear the low pressure warning. If there is a fault within the system, the malfunction indicator flashes for approximately one minute and then illuminates continuously. This will occur every time that you start your vehicle for as long as the fault still exists. Fitting non approved accessories, for example, USB chargers, may interfere with the system and cause a fault message to be displayed. These can interfere with the TPMS wheel sensors and can cause intermittent TPMS operation or non-function. Remove these items and observe if the TPMS fault message disappears. Under these circumstances, the TPMS may not detect if a tire's pressure is low. Seek qualified assistance if the fault persists. When fitting a full-size spare wheel and changing the position of the tires, you'll need the vehicle to be stationary for at least 15 minutes for change to be detected. When the vehicle has been driven above 18 miles per hour for approximately 8 minutes, the low pressure warning will extinguish to confirm that the TPMS is operating correctly. If a temporary use spare wheel is exchanged with a flat tire or a punctured tire, then the low pressure warning will stay on for the next 10 minutes and will then change to a flashing illumination for approximately one minute. The spare wheel is not monitored and then the yellow light will stay continuously illuminated. The message will remain until the vehicle has been fitted with a full-size spare wheel with a TPMS sensor fitted. If the vehicle has been fitted with replacement TPMS sensors not sourced through a Jaguar Land Rover retailer, they may not work, and a TPMS fault will display. 
please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer and tell them where the TPMS sensors were sourced. For further information about this feature, or any other feature, please refer to your owner's handbook. For help or assistance, please contact your Jaguar Land Rover retailer, who will be more than happy to assist you.